Hello everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, this is in that overhead mode with the springy thing, so um, it may turn out a little weird and bouncy occasionally, but this one I already had, but I got another one of these um, old 1897. The reason why I brought this one out is this guy is just slight. I thought they were the same size, but this guy's just slightly smaller. This one's a little bit bigger. Uh, this is a Yale that has one of those, those spinning things. And if you look in the side, well, now we're going to have to zoom and get all bouncy. Mm -hmm. If you look in the side there, there's some little levers. And there's some levers on that side. And there's a hinge right here. So I think it's one of those double claw mechanisms that you're going to have to push on that side and that side. So that's pretty interesting. This is my very first Yale push lock with a key. I've never gotten one that had a key with it. Sorry, this thing's bouncing around. And um, it's one of the older models. Oh, I bounced again. Uh, that has a clover leaf on it. But what I was noticing. All right, this this key says Yale in town on it. it I think it's a copy. Um... It may be the original. I'll quit bouncing that. But what I got down here is... Now, the the first type of design you usually get is these ones that has a patent date from 1876 up to 1878. And then somewhere along the line, they switch to these clover life, clover leaf designs. And then later on, it's just Yale and Yale on both sides. But what I found down here was... See that? 1890? That's a patent date. But if you turn this thing just right... Oops, sorry. I'm going to try to zoom this in. And see if I can get it to focus on there. Right. In between here and there... Oh, sorry. It's going to be really wobbly. In between... Here and there is a 19, oh, and I think that's a 1. So there was something else around here. You can see some more stamping. You can definitely see the 1890. So I think that was their second patent thing when they switched around. It was in 1890. And then on some, see how you can see it down there? 1, 9, 0. It's kind of hard to see in here in this camera. And in this light, you've got to hit it just right to pick up that other stuff in there. But I thought that was pretty cool, because that's going to help me date or figure out when they switched back to... Uh, sorry, quit bouncing around. Oop, bounce, bounce. But yeah, they changed the, uh, the stuff on the shackle, like the original ones. Uh, town wasn't with them. So it's just Yale Manufacturing, Yale Lock Manufacturing Company. And then Town got with them. And so it was Yale and Town on most of the stuff. And I think that's when they switched to the clover leaf type of design and then they went to the regular ones. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you that with you because that was pretty weird. Usually these things are so deteriorated that you don't get any other markings. I really hadn't been looking for markings on the bottom of these because I thought this is the only place they do any stampings. You know, sometimes I'll put a, a letter code up on a shackle. I don't know if any of these have got it. No. Anyways, I thought that was pretty cool. And this thing works so smooth, man. It's it's like you put it in, you just push, and it comes up. It also has, a lot of these are worn down, but this one has the nice square little indentations of where you would disassemble it from so like i said this one's pretty good and i think it's a 1901 yale push padlock so anybody that gets these older ones if you're looking at them just if you get a chance just look around here hopefully nobody's hit it with a wire brush or anything like that to destroy the marking some of this i think was originally pitted to begin with but 1890 is a long time even 1900, 
it's like 120 years old, so basically 119, I guess, since it's 2020 now. So, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get into this guy or this guy. This one I already am able to get into. This one, um, as far as like cleaning and everything, I don't want to drop it in a vinegar bath because that'll change the color of it and everything. I'm just going to leave it like this. And this one has got a little bit of rust and stuff in around that pocket. That's all it really needs. It's got a really nice, smooth finish feel to it. Nice patina. I'm going to leave it the way it is. And uh, down here, I'm just going to get a, a magnifying glass and stuff and try to look at it a lot closer. But this is an iron sides. An iron side. So, thank you for watching and happy picking, everyone.